Hey, what's up, Scott Ball? Welcome with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're talking about the Deity TCSL1 Smart Slate. You can finally get rid of the clap. Can you just give me a clap? Can you just give me a clap? Sure. Okay, so that they can sync up the audio while they're editing it. Can I get you to clap in front of your face? Okay, if you can just take that clapper, just place it right in front of your face, and then just give it a quick little clap. Sure, we've all been there. Maybe you're new in town, or maybe you don't have a lot of money. Eventually, you're going to run into a case of the clap. There are a lot of ways to get rid of it, but there's only one affordable way to get rid of it, and that's through the intelligence of a deity. The Deity TCSL1 Smart Slate. So we're gonna talk about the TCSL1 here in just one second, but first a quick note. Deity did send this slate out to me for review, but no money has changed hands and they don't have any say whatsoever in this review. They don't even get to see it before it goes out. So there you go. You get my honest review, well, as usual. And that deserves a sub, right? Go ahead, click subscribe. First, what is a timecode slate and why do you need one? Well, it combines three things in one. It combines a visual timecode reference to enable syncing audio with a camera or multiple cameras, an audible sound cue for backup sync, and a visual reference for the roll scene take, etc. Now, the visual timecode reference is simply showing timecode on camera so your editor can visually align the clips to other cameras, both with the digital timecode and a visual reference. The auto sound cue is the clicking of the sticks. This provides a reference point for timecode. Hear the click in audio, align the click with the clapper, and when it closes, and well, your sound and cameras are now in sync. The last is the reference for the roll scene take, etc. Now this is great because it's usually the first thing that appears on a clip, so the editor can easily see which take is which. All of these things help make post-production much more efficient, especially for your editor. And while well, editors don't really have many pleasures in life, in fact, I'm fairly certain they aren't even allowed to have a life at all. But a time code slate on their footage, well, they're simply gonna love you for it. Hey buddy, I brought you some coffee. I also brought you your favorite tortilla chips. Oh, almost forgot. Here's today's footage. It was shot all synced up with the time code slate. We could all use a little happiness in our lives, right? So this is the Deity TCSL1 Smart Slate, and well, let's go through its features first, then a demo, and well, then the pros and cons, you know, a review. Now the slate shell is made of aluminum and the front face is a matte low glare plastic that you can write on with the included dry erase marker. The clapper sticks themselves are made from sturdy black walnut hardwood, which is actually sourced from a sustainable source in Tennessee. It has two battery slots that accept the standard Sony NP F550 batteries. Now it includes two high capacity batteries that are 3,350 milliamps each in the uh, fashionable Deity Yellow. Now in testing, although the app showed I had about 13 hours of runtime on battery, I got about 15 hours of runtime on a single battery running the timecode display and the illuminated front slate the entire time. Now that's like the maximum use case and well, not very likely on set. Now there are two battery slots and they are hot swappable. So basically you're covered. There's a USB-C plug on the bottom that supports firmware updates and fast charging. And you can charge the batteries in as little as three hours with a really good fast charger. So there's literally no excuse for a dead slate. There's an OLED display on the back with a dial so you can adjust everything on the slate from the menu or use the incredibly easy and powerful Citus Audio app. More on that later. That matte writing surface is backlit for those directors who love to shoot extremely dark in every freaking movie lately. That's not how Christopher Nolan intended it. Now the red dot matrix display is very clear on camera in all lighting situations, possibly even on the surface of Mercury. Yep. 
Now that dot matrix display is able to display not only time code, but other messages you need to convey as well. You can show frame rate, user bit, up to three independent customizable messages and or special characters all on a clap. And on the side, there's a little switch so you can allow clapping upside down. There's a power switch behind the little door and it has a five pin Limo connection that you can use to send out timecode to another brand of timecode device or you can have the slate read the timecode from another device. It's pretty flexible. There's also a quarter inch TRS jack for sending timecode out as well. Now the design for the handle allows for very easy one-handed operation. For those times when you just need to answer the age old parable, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Two apple, take one marker. Now it comes with a simple and nice case, a USB cable with an adapter, a five pin Limo to locking eighth inch TRS cable, two of the high capacity Deity batteries, a dry erase marker, and well, some stickers. Now it can sync time code with a Deity TC1 using RF on set for about 30 feet away without the need for the app. But the Sinuslink app is where the real power lies. Like the TC1, the Slate can use a Bluetooth connection on your phone to sync up to 250 feet away. So with one app, you can control up to 20 devices effortlessly. Connecting the app was, well, incredibly simple. I powered up the device for the very first time, went into the app, clicked the little plus sign, and well, it added the slate instantly. Once you're in the app, you can group the slate with your other DD timecode devices so you can configure the frame rate just once for all of them. And you can also set custom messages and all the other settings and then sync all of your DD timecode devices all at once with one click. To configure the slate using the menu, use the dial to choose the option and press in to select. To back out of the menu option, just hold down the dial until it goes back. Click to unlock, slide over to unlock, and then click again. The first option is the mode selection. If you're using the Sinus Audio app, well, it will show BT, essentially saying, yo, I'm using Bluetooth. Otherwise, it's going to show M. If you click it, you can choose three modes. Master Run will assign this slate as the master and send wireless RF timecode to all other DAD timecode devices in the same group. If you choose Auto Jam, this will tell the slate to wait to receive wireless jam from another DAD device. Now to jam from the other DAD device, just select Sync. The last option is Jam and Lock, and if you do this, it will sync one time and then just lock. It won't accept any more commands from the master. Now to change the frame rate, just click on Frame Rate and select the appropriate rate. To assign your slate to a group, just select the group and, well, assign a letter. Just make sure all of your devices are set to the same group or, well, they're not going to communicate with each other. Unless you just want to put one of them in timeout. You know what you did. Now, if you need to offset your time code on the slate to, say, compensate for latency on a camera, well, you can do that by selecting TC then choosing offset, and you can adjust that by plus or minus zero to 10 frames. Next is the Bluetooth config. You can turn it off or on or reset it to join a new device. And finally, the settings will allow you to name the slate. You can adjust the brightness of both the red dot matrix as well as the bottom of the slate itself. And you can also perform a complete system reset or update the firmware. It's pretty straightforward. Now, configure what you need for your production, click Sync All, and you're ready to slate with timecode. Now, if you're interested in the proper way to slate, look for an upcoming video on how to slate coming, well, very shortly. So what are the pros and cons? Pros, well, it's built to take a beating, like really nicely constructed. It should last you for, well, years and years without issue. The batteries are hot swappable and they are that standard Sony NPF 550 battery, which is a very affordable battery. And another is, this is the most affordable timecode slate on the market, period. You can basically get three timecode devices and a slate for about the same price as just a slate from other manufacturers. 
It's also available right now. The dot matrix display makes it for very clear characters. And honestly, it just works. Cons, the, the batteries don't come out easily and it, it may just be my unit, but I have to give them a tap on the back of the slate to have them slide out. They're not stuck. I would just call them hesitant. Again, it could just be my unit. The uh, power switch door, it, it kind of rattles a little and it's a little too easy to remove. It may remove itself one day. Um, I don't know. The good news is, is that the power switch is recessed. So if it does fall off, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And the slate itself is smaller than other time code slates on the market. Now, this isn't technically an issue as it really isn't like an international standard size, but just know that it's a little more compact. So that's it. I've honestly been waiting quite a while for something like this to hit the market. And I am ever so thankful that an affordable solution for a complete time code system is here. And honestly, they didn't lose any features along the way when they were designing it. It's everything you need and it's built to last. And at an incredible price, you won't feel it in your wallet. What do you think about the new Deity timecode ecosystem? I personally am in love with it. There's honestly nothing really to dislike about it. Even if you already own another timecode system, you could just plug that in and have a timecode slate that works with your timecode and it's still cheaper than any other timecode slate. Let me know down below what you think. Now, remember to support the channel by well, becoming a channel member or any of the other options below. It's really nice to help out and you know, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. <music>